Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you episode 2 of my Team of the Season Draft of Glory. If you haven't seen episode 1, check it out. We got a very good reward at the end of it and uh, yeah, it's well worth a watch. But anyway, on to this episode and last episode we did, I think we got 343 and we did well with it. So you know what, I'm going to go with 3421 since it's similar. Obviously it's not identical. I've got to take that Suarez. We'll probably get a better version of Messi and Ronaldo. But um, now I've said that, we might not. We get Anike Williams now. Some episodes I'm not going to be bothered about chemistry. Some I will. Uh, obviously I'll try and mix and match because a lot of the time I'll probably end up building La Liga, which I know a lot of people do get annoyed with. But it, it's just the best. The best one. But I'll always take Team of the Seasons. We took that one last time, but you know what? I just said we're always going to take Team of the Season, so I've got to take him. Uh, we'll give him another go and see what happens on the left. See if we can get him any chemistry, actually. Oh, we get another one. All right. All right. Chemistry probably won't matter this game, uh, this time, purely because we've already got two Team of the Seasons in the lineup right now. Uh, Turan did well for us last time, but you know what? I'll pick Isco for rating-wise, and he's also Spanish, getting that link. Right. Got some good options here. We've got Miranda. You know what? I'll take Smalling. Chances are we'll get another Premier League defender. Yep. And he's English. So that's a perfect uh, link with him. See what we can get on this side. Right. We're going back to La Liga here. I think... No, actually. We've got Vertonghen. I'm not sure. Unless we get Loris. I'm not sure what the, what the chemistry situation is going to be. We're going to go with Forster. And then basically the defense is perfectly fine with chemistry. Uh, we'll take a La Liga one just in case as a backup. See if we can get any more team of the seasons, that would be fantastic. Right, don't really need wingers. But you know what, what we could do, I'm not sure what the, uh, the chemistry goes down if we uh, if we put Trippier there, oh well. We do get Shawcross however, so yeah, we're going to take him, play him there, and then the, the defence is perfectly all, well, all on perfect chem. Now we could play this Jones guy actually. You know what, I'm going to take him because he'll give this guy uh, good chemistry. So what's he on? Seven, seven chemistry for a team of the season. Not too bad. And uh, I've never tried him. We could. Nah, there's no point taking Perlo. Doesn't really do anything for the team. Uh, you know I'll take Hulk as a super sub. Uh, I probably should have taken Hamas as an option. Maybe not because we got Ronaldo now. Now, although I said I'll take team of the seasons, I might bench this guy. Nah, actually, you know what? I'll put Ronaldo up there. No, no, no. I'll get. I'll give uh, Ruiz another chance purely because he's a team in the season, right? Uh, we've got Neymar there. We could do that. I'm not sure what the chemistry would do. Oh, it goes down quite considerably. Um, I'm not too bothered to be honest. I like Nico Williams, but obviously the players up front are a little bit better. Could take Florenzi just in case the defense screws up. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because he's a very, very good card. If you haven't tried uh, Inform Florenzi, I suggest you give him a try. He's unreal. Uh, we've already got a Spanish goalkeeper. We don't need another one. We don't really need any of these. So I'll take Mohamed Salah. And um, yeah, I just want more team of the seasons. A silver one would have been nice. We didn't get one. We'll, we'll take this guy, Lozano. He looks pretty good. 89 pace. And this is a big pull. Yeah, it is right. We don't need Neuer. Don't need long, we'll take Royce as a as a super sub. Another big pull here. Well, I say big pull. Uh, not really. We'll, we'll take Hamas Rodriguez. And um, you know what, 83 chemistry, I, I really don't care. I've said it numerous times. I think chemistry is completely irrelevant. I'll always try and build the best I possibly can. But I still want to play with uh, any team of the seasons we pull. So... Let's see what the chem situation is. He's on four chemistry, but this team of season's on seven. Obviously, Ronaldo's on three because he's uh, he's a left wing, not a right wing. But the, the defense, perfect chem. Happy with that. Suarez, perfect chem. Obviously, Neymar isn't. So, you know what? All in all, I'm not really asked. I think that's a fairly decent draft, and it also gives me a different midfield. I've never used either of those players, so it certainly does help. Uh, chemistry... Sorry, it gives me some more options, so it's not boring, and I'm not using the same players over and over again. So, we'll see what I can do in the highlights. Can we better than, can we do better than episode one? Time will tell. All right, so heading into the first round, as you can see, he's got a very solid BPL team. Kante, team of the season, Van Dijk, team of the season, Laudrup, and then he's got Aguero, 91, Costa, 87, Bellerin, uh, in form who's absolutely amazing Ramirez who's a powerhouse in the midfield a very very good team and uh, we start off 
and unfortunately for us it's it's an early goal for my opponent uh, he makes it 1-0 there and then he gets uh, another chance here and I wasn't even defending that it's a penalty unfortunately Ronaldo steps up and he makes it 2-0 he subbed on Ronaldo as as you can probably see but uh, I didn't let my head get down Suarez here with some nice work managing to get round luckily it falls to Neymar makes it 1-0 there and uh, sorry 2-1 and then some work here trying to create some space between Isco and Ronaldo and then I can see a little bit of a gap opening up Ronaldo takes the shot and what a goal that is 2-2 fantastic there and then Neymar with a rainbow flick getting around the the defender a nice McGeady spin a bit lucky there for it to fall nicely for Suarez who passes it to Ronaldo to make it 3-2 uh, but my opponent gets another chance here, it's Jans Vertonghen of all people who manages to get away from the defence and uh, makes it 3-3. So in extra time we go, Neymar with some brilliant work manages to turn around and smashes that into the back of the net to make it 4-3. Suarez here, this is incredible, he, he wasn't even facing the goal and it, oh, this 96 Suarez is absolutely amazing. We win 5-3 in extra time, we move in to the quarterfinals where we come up against a team that doesn't have a lot of chemistry but these are pretty dangerous he's got Orien center back I think that might actually work he's got Ned Fed as a cam and then obviously that a bombing 99 pace is dangerous no matter what his chemistry is but I start this off and Luis Suarez gets a goal there to make it 1-0 then my keeper comes out of his own accord it's a poor clearance but what a finish that is from Gareth Bale unbelievable lob there to make it 1-1 fair play to my opponent not going to take anything away from that bit annoyed with my keeper but still some terrible defending here Nedved gets in passes it through to Messi it's 2-1 and um, I've, I've got to try and get back in the game again and uh, Jack Jones here the center mid who I put there to give uh, the team of the season a bit more chemistry manages to make it 2-2 with a nice goal and then Pierre Emerick Aubameyang scores for uh, him to make it 3-2 there was so many goals in this episode it's absolutely crazy Raheem Sterling bursting through passes it to a bomb yang he's an absolute nightmare to defend 4-2 Ronaldo with a McGeady spin passes it off to Suarez makes it 4-3 there's just so many goals we're nowhere near done Suarez here with some lovely work another ridiculous finish honestly this 96 Suarez is incredible and look who it falls to again Suarez in extra time to make it 5-4 and uh, we're not done there, off the line, brilliant clearance, Suarez is on the edge of the box and another banger from Suarez, absolutely ridiculous, 6-4, I pass it off to Suarez, he thinks, you know, this time I'll give an assist, it's Ronaldo, manages to score, so it was 4-4, hitting in extra time, it's now 7-4 and we move on to this semi-final, getting a nice uh, 804 coins there, as you can see, 20 shots, 19 on target, crazy. But anyway, into the semi-finals we go, and we come up against a Bomiang again. That's a very nice team. No La Liga players for a change, but uh, he's got Koscielny, he's got Czech, and obviously that a Bomiang who caused me some real problems last game. And here he is again, instantly. Eight minutes in, a Bomiang with a nice finish there to make it 1-0 to my opponent. Ronaldo, Berber spin, somehow managed to get that into Jack Jones again, or Jones, whatever his first name is, but 1-1 incredible he's, he's a really underrated card to be fair but Neymar trying to get some space here uh, I'm obviously gonna do that spin and another banger the amount of long-range goals in this episode is crazy terrible defending however goes to my worst nightmare Aubameyang makes it 2-2 just before the end of the game and then in the 90th minute this pissed me off all right it's a brilliant save from Aubameyang but from the corner Royce whips this in Goes towards a bombing, everyone misses it, I can't clear it, the defender falls over, bang, he hits it, it deflects off my defender's arse, I think, or leg, and it loops over the goalkeeper to make it 3-2. So a deflected goal knocks me out in the semi-final, I was very, very frustrated with that. The game was even, like in the last episode when I lost in the final, uh, it was an even game and it went towards the favour of my opponent, which is very, very infuriating, but what can you do? Let's open the packs. Alright guys, like in the last episode, we lost it in the 90th minute. Oh, that goal pissed me off so much. Another extremely even game that could have went either way and unfortunately my opponent did win and we go out in the semi-final. Now overall, I did really enjoy this team and I've got to say, this Jones guy seemed better than the team of the season fella Haber. 
Now, Felahaber was decent. Uh, he was more defensive, which is probably why I didn't notice him as much. Even though Jones is a CDM, he scored two goals for me. And uh, Ruiz again had a quiet game. I think it might just be this formation having uh, the left mid pretty redundant. Isco gets involved a lot more than... Um, Ruiz did and probably because I was doing a lot of my attacks down the right now Luis Suarez is just ridiculous in the second game he scored five he assisted one he's absolutely incredible the defense was very solid uh, well I say very solid I conceded a hell of a lot so maybe it wasn't but it felt decent is what I'm trying to say but anyway enough of that let's claim our prize probably a 15k and a 7.5k for going out in the semi-finals and that's exactly what it is so Let's open this, hopefully, like in the last episode, we can get a team of the season in one of these packs. Oh, both. That would be terrific. But is that Rooney? No, it's Vardy. All right. Vardy goes for a little bit, so um, we'll keep the squad fitness. We'll send him to the trade pile, and uh, we'll discard the rest. So we've probably made about 4K off that pack, and for fuck's sake. Right. Come on. Be a blue. Be a blue. Blue, blue, blue. No. It's actually cool. I've got a lot of high-rated players in the club, though, and none of them are duplicates so that was a pretty dreadful reward but um yeah hopefully aside from that you've still enjoyed the episode let me know if there's any improvements or what your thoughts on the series in general are in the comment section hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace